Defendants, please rise. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, we have. As to the defendant, Mark Fullen, how do you find? We find the defendant, Mark Fullen, guilty as charged. Yeah. Order. Order in this court. As to the defendant, Kurt Malcolm, how do you find? We find the defendant, Kurt Malcolm, guilty. Charge. Order! Order in this court, please! The prisoners will be remanded to the municipal correctional facility to await sentencing. Good job, Ace. Nice show. Everybody got their money's worth. Uh, Whatever turns you on. Do you think they're going to get life this time, Miss Jeffrey? I don't impose the sentences, but I'm certainly going to recommend they get maximum. What am I, a sandwich? Uh, you locked up Kurt Malcolm twice already, O'Brien. You think you're going to have to lock him up again? Jeffrey's handled the case. Let's let her answer the question. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, get out of my way. Please. Were you surprised the verdict came in so fast? Well, actually, I wasn't, because I think we have a very clear-cut case this time. Keep your mouth shut. Well, come on, cheer up. I think you didn't get acquitted, you know? Tell me. I locked this guy Malcolm up six years ago. They should have thrown away the key, but they gave him ten. He got five. Now he's killed a couple more people. That don't make me cheerful. Well, maybe it won't happen again this you time. Maybe you'll get life. that to the families of the people he killed. Right. Hey! Don't count your chickens, O'Brien. I ain't done with you yet. I think you got the guy picked all wrong. Seems friendly enough to me. <laughs> Nothing to lose. Why don't you do yourself some good? Tell us where they went. Please. Come on, I want to know where they went. Come on. Where did they go, Sack? Where? 
Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's conscious he can answer my question. Uh, oh, come on. If you bleed to death, I want to know where they went. Come, come on. You can talk to him in the hospital. All okay? right. Come come on. All right. Get him out of here. Oh, they grab a sonographer and use it for cover. She's over there. The guard make it? No, it's dead. Did she just tell me to cheer up? We call it our criminal justice system. And sometimes you can't help wondering if there's even a grain of truth in any of those words. System? What kind of system is it when nothing works? Justice? What's just about releasing an animal like Kirk Malcolm to kill again? Criminal? The only thing criminal is a system of justice that leaves us asking these questions. Kevin. Yeah. I think you're gonna like this. You know that guy you just took off to the hospital? And yeah, what about him? The guard says Malcolm shot him. Just show up there. She's not even gonna talk to me. She was your wife, wasn't she? Was. Yeah, well, go get her and bring her here. Dr. King to reception. You think he's gonna talk to us? I'm not gonna give him much choice, Frank. Dr. You know. Chan to reception. Satch? Is he all right? Rise and shine, Satch. Got a few questions I want answered. Nurse! I've been shot, man. Where'd they go, Satch? What was the plan? Oh, man, I told you, I don't know nothing about no plan. Come on, you could do better than that. I got witnesses, man. Don't mess me over. Satch, your vacation is over. Do what you have to do. Get them dressed. Hey, I got right! Get them down to Mid-South as soon as you can. Get your chance, Satch. Just go to answer questions here. I've been shot, man! You can't take me out of here! You can't take me out of here! Mommy, it's for you. Oh, hey, Mike, that is terrific. Yeah. This is a TV 12 news update. Police Mikey, are intensifying it's almost their bedtime, hunt for you know. escape killers Kurt Malcolm and Mark Fullen. Convicted Look, in the brutal Mommy, shooting death it's of Uncle Mark. David Thompson. In a daring escape just moments after a jury returned a guilty verdict in their homicide trial, Malcolm and Fullen... Is Uncle Mark in jail, Mommy? No, he's not. The man said he was. Let's forget it, Mikey, okay? Just drop it. But... I said that's enough. He's not in jail. Just forget it. Why don't you just draw Mom another picture, okay? Oh, 
No. I mean, just finish your picture, okay? He's hurt, Connie. He's hurt bad. Daddy? sandwich in here that looks like it has a sweater on it. What do you want me to do? Buy a pair of rubber gloves? Use a little elbow grease. Doesn't need elbow grease, Lieutenant. He's an exorcist. Wouldn't be a bad time to ask if you two guys are getting any work done around here. Hey, Lieutenant, running down a list of Kurt Malcolm's known associates. So far, they're all either dead or in jail. What happened to the guy who helped him escape? Uh, Satch Holden. Nothing, no connection so far. He must be connected to something. There's a rumor that he's being brought here for questioning. Well, last I heard, he was in a hospital. According to Dr. O'Brien, he's well enough to travel. Kevin's turning over every rock he can to get his hands on this guy, Malcolm. Listen, Lieutenant, I understand Kevin's obsession with this case. Obsession? But... Kevin keeps putting that bum in there, and you people can't keep him in there. We will keep him in there if everybody does everything legally to do that. Meaning you're here to protect his rights. I have every confidence that you protect his rights, even if I wasn't here, Lieutenant. Which I may not be. Uh, it's Car um, yeah, it's Carson, uh, Mid-South. Wait, wait, just, Brian, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to talk to you, all right? So just get off my back. Listen, we haven't asked you anything yet. Well, let's keep it that way, because I know you want to ask me about Kurt Malcolm, and I got nothing to say about Kurt Malcolm. Do you owe this guy a favor, huh? No, nobody any favors, especially man, you, man. Brian. What do you know? What do you know? Hey, listen, Brian, I know the guy happens to be a killer, all right? I don't want to happen to be one of the guys he ends up killing. You understand what I'm saying? Fine. So leave me alone. Listen to me. Hey, we are gonna nail this animal, Whitey. Look, we're gonna nail this animal. Yeah. Let me tell you something, O'Brien. You hand this animal in custody, you let him go. Now, what does that mean to my body? What are you talking about? Out of my enough body? Of this Get your hands off me. I need a name. Now, Fuller has been shot. Somebody's taking care of him. I need a name. No, hey, I'll give you a name. You just get your hands off me. All right. You want a name, I'll give you a name. Connie Hackman, all right? Maiden name is Fuller, all right? It's a sister. It's a very good idea you gave me a name. Oh, thanks, O'Brien. You're really doing a lot to help my life out. You know that? Look, don't take a person, okay? He's just having a bad a week. A bad week? Well, maybe I'm having a bad year, but does that mean anything to you? I mean, who the hell cares about me? Is he asleep? Of course he's not asleep. How's he gonna sleep? You showing up here, Mark breaking out of prison. You told him. It was on the news, Eddie. Look, I'm sorry, Connie. I didn't want you to get mixed up in this. It's the last thing you that I... Nothing. You just walked back into my life. I didn't know what else to do. Why don't you just keep on running to wherever the hell you were thinking of going? Would you have to come here? He's your brother, damn it! We can't take him anywhere else. Oh, God, what am I gonna do? He needs help. Coming. Don't touch me, Eddie. How bad is it? Bad. You gotta get him to a doctor. He won't go to a doctor. You come, you take a look at him. Maybe you can do something. How am I gonna go? I got a baby in the other room. I'll take care of him. He's my son, too, Connie. He was your son. Until you took up with my brother and that crazy Malcolm. Isn't there anything in my life he isn't going to try and ruin? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Because you're all screwed up and on the run. Now you're sorry. So where is he? A warehouse. I'll give you the address. And Malcolm's there, too. And he's okay. Why didn't they shoot him, Eddie? Why didn't it ever work out that way? Yes? Honey Fullen? Yes? Please, I'd like to ask you a few questions. It's 
about Mark, isn't it? Has he been trying to get in touch with you? It's on the news. Can we come in? I haven't used that name in a long time. How did you find me? Do you have any idea where your brother might be, uh, Miss Vaughn? Hackman. Uh, anything you could tell us uh, might help. I'm sorry, officers. Uh, Mark would never get in touch with me. I never even went to the trial. Yeah, I know that. Now, apparently, your brother was wounded in the escape. Look, if you're finished with all your good news... Mommy, I can't sleep. Uh, just a minute, honey. Go back to bed. I'll be there in a second. Look, if you don't mind... Did anyone come here tonight, son? Just my dad. Daddy, did I hear... It's the police, Eddie. They're asking questions about Mark. She's got nothing to do with her damn brother. Look, you know, I'm trying to raise a little boy here. I mean, he sees his uncle on the news, and then you guys barging in. It doesn't help any. All right, I can understand that. You just have to cover all the bases. Now, if your brother tries to get in touch with you, you can get in touch with me. I can't, Eddie. Not with the police here and everything. I just can't. He's your brother, Connie. My son, Eddie. Please don't get me mixed up in it. Just take Mark to a doctor. How long are you going to keep on running? Good night, Daddy. Talk to Vic. It's not up for you. Approach. Hey, give me a minute. Hello? Say anything. Just shut up and listen. Jeez, man. Where the hell are you? I said, shut up. Car. Leave the damn plane. You're so hot the phone's melting. Just this once, man. Where the hell are you? You never mind that. Just be in front of your place and get me a car. Give me anything as long as it runs. You got it. Vic, you be there. Because if you're not, I'm not bothering to leave town. I'm coming straight for you. I'll be there, man. I said I'll be there. It's as long as we understand each other. Baby, later. Later. Oh, Brian. Brian. This is Vic Timmons. Kurt Malcolm just called. Where is he? He said he needs a car. Coming to my place. See you in a second. There's a shot fired in the subway. Oh, 
Fill me in. The guy's dead. Malcolm's gone. Took a subway cop with him. Dead guy? Who the hell was he? An old friend of Malcolm's. Did a little time with him. Well, then why wasn't he brought in and questioned? He was questioned, Lieutenant. He was on the list and hadn't heard from Malcolm. And when he did, he called us. And got himself killed over nothing. You're not going to bring him back by damaging city property. Tell me about it. I'll tell you about it. You want to hear about it? I'll tell you about it. If there's a 1013, you cover it. There are no other choices. We should have had Timmons covered. Cut up, shut up. What the hell are you second guessing yourself for? Because we had it all set up, Lieutenant. Everything was covered. No, we didn't have it covered. That was the point. This guy got shot, and it was our responsibility to cover it. We had a cop killed. We know. And, that. And, all and, right, and, and, shut up. Shut up. You want me to tell you you screwed up? That you blew it? Jim, it was hardly a triumph. All right, can it, the lot of you. You had him, you didn't have him. There are no points for near misses. And you're wasting your time with this self-pity. You got exactly 30 seconds to feel sorry for yourselves. Now get out of here. Get something to eat. When you get back here, I want to see you working, all of you. Let's get out of here. All right. Timmons was set up and left stranded. I want to hear it from you. I don't need to hear this crap from is you. Is it true? So what if it is? It would be on the front page of every damn newspaper in the country. Well, what can I tell you that'll make me look good? A straight answer. I don't know what that means anymore. I don't know what that means anymore. Don't take it so personally. Tommy, that slime bucket made fools of us. We had him and he got out, right out from under our noses. You did everything you could, Kevin. I think you've OD'd on homicides. It's not just the homicides. There's a homicide every night in this great city. So you got something worse? It's like a disease, the way it spreads. The guard who got killed at the courthouse, he probably had a, a wife, a couple kids. One kid. Whatever. The guy tried to help me out, he got blown away. The guy wasn't an innocent bystander. Malcolm called him for a reason. They were friends. That's just the point. It's a disease, and it passes on to animals like Malcolm, to his cronies, to innocent people and their families. Killers, victims, and cops all have families. Am I missing some point here? You're just a little insensitive tonight, Tommy. Nick, suffering wasn't invented tonight, and I'm not being insensitive. I'm just not surprised by anything anymore. Nobody's surprised, Tom. I mean, it gets to you. That's what he's saying. Right? Isn't that what you're saying? I don't need an interpreter. How many lives is this guy Malcolm messed up? Yeah. And it didn't have to happen. None of it did. So you got a cure? Yeah, I had a cure for it. I just didn't use it. What are you talking about? I nailed Malcolm six years ago. He just killed a guy in a liquor store holdup. I chased him into an alley and he emptied his gun at me. I remember. He stood against a concrete wall, just looking at me. And he dropped his gun. And then he laughed. He was daring me to put his lights out. Should have done it, too. It would have been better if I did. Done what? Shot him in cold blood? How's that gonna help? Well, explain that to the guard's wife and the cop's wife and Pullen's sister. Kevin, you don't mean that. You can't. Nikki, that bastard knew what it was all about. That was what that laugh meant. It was over. Yes, it should have been over. He should have got life. It is not your fault that the courts turned him back out under the street. I should have finished it in that alley. Two wrongs have never made anything right, Kevin. Oh, come on. Look, you have to live with yourself. That's why Kevin's feeling so terrific tonight. So he gets to play God Almighty? Is that who's doing this? Well, I'd like to know how in the hell he's got it figured. What's going on? Leave this. Kevin O'Brien finds things just a little complicated. So he expects God to walk into this bar or into the Mid-South Station House and just explain it all for him so he can have a little bit of sleep at night. 
I don't believe you're saying this. Dropped another one on you, didn't they, Satch? When are you gonna wise up? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, your buddy Malcolm shot a cop tonight, wise ass, and you're in it deep. What do you mean I'm in it? I didn't have nothing to do with that. You guys had me in the hospital, you know that. You helped them escape. I didn't shoot no one. It's on your tab, Satch. Now, that doesn't sound fair, does it? He also killed a guy named Timmons. But you didn't know that, did you? You can't pin that one on me. Well, we're gonna try. Now, Timmons was a friend of his, right? I don't know. Well, we know. He was a friend. Now, that's two friends he shot tonight. What the hell are you talking about? Look at it, won't you, moron? Who in the hell do you think shot you? Guards, cops, whatever the hell they were. Try Malcolm. Kurt Malcolm. That's a lot of crap. Listen to me. The guard that you were struggling with, Malcolm shot him, and then he shot you, too. Ballistics matches up the bullets! Come on, he, he wouldn't have... He wouldn't have left you lying there? But he picked up your pal phone that was shot, though, didn't he? Lawyer, I don't want to talk without a lawyer. Now, what do you want a lawyer for? He just tell you to say nothing. It can't do yourself any good if you can't say anything. Now, listen to me. A man shoots you. He shoots you, and he leaves you there bleeding. He wouldn't give a damn if you died right there in the street. You're lying. You are stupid, Sam. You are stupid. Now, listen, he is a thief. He's out there making a fool of you right now. You got about 10 seconds before the gate shuts tight. All right. I don't know a hell of a lot. I don't even know those two guys. Eddie said he could use some help. There were some bucks in it. Eddie? Eddie who? Eddie Hackman, Pullen's brother-in-law. Lion witch. Brady, lock him up. He was right there in the room with us, and I let her feed me that load of crap. I don't believe how stupid I got. I was there, too. She was pretty damn convincing. Yeah, she's gonna have to be a hell of a lot more than more convincing this time. Hey, you two still work here? Come on. Where is she? I told you to make her come. She was gonna, then cops showed up, she was scared. Oh, cops, cops, detectives. Some guy named O'Brien and some other guy, they wanted to know if... Brian! What'd she tell him? She didn't say nothing. She said she heard about Mark breaking out of the news, that's all. Dan O'Brien, he comes, he comes anywhere near me, I'm gonna get him and... I'm gonna nail that mother! Come on, give me a hand! It's no good, man. Then give me a hand! Get some stuff to keep him alive till we get him out of here. Get the door. Shut up, huh? That be all? Something for pain. 
Aspirin? Stronger than some penicillin. It's prescription stuff. I got a prescription. Just get it. I'm not fooling around. Mister, I don't know where you come from, but... No prescription. Oh, no. man, I'm... I got a kid about your age. Are you into all that G.I. Joe stuff? I got lots of them. No kidding. Even the Ten Commander. I got two more guns. You have to stage that little invasion in front of him. We might not have if you'd level with us when we came here first time. I hadn't seen Malcolm. Well, you've been playing these little games. Kurt Malcolm killed two more people. I didn't... Were you covered up for him? You should have been an actress. No, look, you don't understand. How many times do I have to tell you? I wasn't... Harboring a fugitive? That's the legal phrase for it. He told you, didn't he? No, he didn't. I saw it on the television. And then Eddie came in here. I don't give a damn about the television. We are past that now. Get that through your head. I couldn't say anything. He's my brother, for God's sake. What about your son? Huh? What about Mikey? You do time for harboring a fugitive. Who's going to take care of him? So what do you want from me? Tell you what I want from... What do you want from me? Some help. You help us and we'll help you. Was your brother. Yeah. For my kid, I would. No, you wouldn't. Listen to me. Your brother has been wounded. He's been shot. And that's why Eddie came over here. Your brother needs your help. Now, you say you love him. What are you gonna do? Let him die? You gonna let him die? You don't understand. You don't. Mark was decent until he met Malcolm. He was. He was my big brother. He used to take care of me. And then that Malcolm, he, he ruined Eddie, he ruined my marriage, he ruined everything, and he's the one who should be out there dying, not my brother! Mikey! Uh, Mikey, 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 Mikey! Leave my mommy alone! You leave her alone! Are you okay, Mommy? Another lesson about trusting people. So she couldn't give up her brother. Kind of breaks your heart about the kid, though. Don't tell me about the kid. It was kind of tough on him. Yeah, whose fault is that? Well, sure as hell ain't his. His mother lied to us. His father busted Malcolm out. I was talking about the kid, okay? I don't want to talk about the kid. I don't want to start feeling sorry for these people. Well, I sure as hell do, okay? I mean, what kind of chances does this kid have? Unit 1209, 10-2, to your command. Stop looking for Eddie Hackman. He got himself killed tonight. Store owner drilled him with a 32. I don't believe this. Elaine is in there with him now. Just take it easy and tell me exactly what happened. Well, there's nothing to tell. This guy comes in, starts to gather up a bunch of bandages yeah, and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Detective O'Brien, right. Mr. Allen. Please continue. Well, this guy comes in and gathers up bandages and things, and all of a sudden he tries to shoot me. But I got him first. Well, you're a lucky man. Those guys don't usually miss. It wasn't all luck. Mr. Allen had his gun pretty handy. I have been robbed eight times this year. One of them broke my arm. I've gotten so I'm frightened to even be there in the store at night. But hell, it's my business. I... A man has got a right to fight for his own life, doesn't he? He's, he's got a right to protect himself. Nobody said you didn't. Look, I've got to ask you a question. The gun. I don't have a permit for it. I'm not going to go to jail, am I? No, I don't think so. We'll see what we can do. O'Brien, oh, can I talk to you for a minute? We'll be right back, Mr. Allen.
what's the problem? You shouldn't be making promises you can't keep. I didn't promise anything. The preliminary statement from the witness didn't look that good for this guy. She says she didn't see Hackman with a gun. Elaine, cut the crap. You're wasting your time putting heat under that poor scared guy. You should be concentrating on Malcolm and scum like him. He wouldn't be the first scared man to have killed somebody. Did Hackman have a gun? That's not the point. Did he have a gun? Yes, he had a gun. We're getting real good at catching the victims, aren't we? I don't catch them, O'Brien. That's your job. O'Brien! Why did those men come here, Mommy? Because they were looking for somebody, honey. Uncle Mark? Yeah, Uncle Mark. Are they going to shoot him? No, they're not going to shoot him. Is Uncle Mark going to die? No, he's not going to die. Then where are you going? Well, you are going to your Aunt Victoria's upstairs. You're going to sleep there. And I want you to be a good boy and don't give her any trouble, OK? Where are you going? Well, Mommy has to go out for a little while, honey. I won't be long. But uh, something I have to do. Sure as hell doesn't look like she's going to work. Kevin, do you read that? Yeah, I hear you. She's went into the warehouse on board. Don't do anything until we get there. He's loud and clear. God, I was hoping you'd be gone. <laughs> Still here, baby. Where's Eddie? He got himself killed. If you would come, when we first called you, he'd still 
I'll be here. Everything you said, you destroyed! Leave her alone, Kern! Leave her alone! Do so. I'm bleeding to death. for the rest of his life. There isn't going to be a rest of his life if he doesn't get out of here. I, I just need to rest a little. You're a nurse, aren't you? Fix him. He needs a hospital. Surgery. Well, fix him enough to travel. We're getting the hell out of here. Aren't you listening to me? I can't do, do what anything. he says. I'll get the stuff in the car. Losing your nerve, O'Brien?
Some think the most horrible aspect of violence is the way it numbs everyone it touches. But the worst effect of violence isn't the emotion it takes away. It's the emotion it gives you. When there's a mad dog loose in the streets, we have to shoot it. But when the mad dog is human, what then? Do we call that a victory or a defeat? Shoot me, she dropped him. She saved your life? Yeah. Damn good story. Maybe you'd like it.